Hi, it's Christmas 2024, and we're going to get a primer on boilers and water tanks in the Matza household. Okay, previous day I have labeled all the pipes so I can figure it out and everybody else can see what's going on here. If we turn on the hot water in the basement bathroom, we notice that this pipe will turn cold. Yeah. And I've marked it cold input. If, if any hot water is turned on in the house, we figured out that this is the cold input, all right? And the cold water is coming down into this water tank. And this water tank is completely filled with hot water from the boiler. And this cold water pipe goes into the boiler and it comes out the top and it comes out this pipe as it comes out of this water tank it's very hot and it's set to 140 and this is the pipe that goes hot to the rest of the house now if we back up just a little bit the water coming in the house is a pipe behind the wall and it splits behind the wall and the first split goes to all the cold water faucets in the house, and then the other split is coming into the boiler room here, and it is this cold water pipe that goes into the water tank. All right, hot water for the house is actually in two stages. The water comes in and goes through this water tank, comes out the top and out to the house. Now what keeps the water in the tank extremely hot is hot water from the boiler and the boiler thermostat is set to 190 degrees which is just below boiling and the second needle on that is the pressure inside the boiler this blue container is the boiler the emergency stop switch is here which kills the electricity to the boiler the output of the boiler, the hot water from the boiler at the 190 degrees comes up here. There is another uh, thermostat here. If this pops, the boiler will shut off and you have to push this button to reset it. The boiler output right here comes out to this tree. All right, this is basically what's called a, a manifold, something that has an input of something and splits it to many other things. So you've got the 190 temperature water coming into this manifold, hot water to the house. And then we have these four little water pumps. One, two, three, four little water pumps. All right, this water pump is going to the hot water tank over there. And this is what fills the outside of the water tank with hot water at 190 degrees. All right, this little mini water pump is sending hot water to the first floor heater which is in the back of this room and this little water pump is sending hot water upstairs to the second floor heat which is the radiator blower mechanism up in the attic and this tiny little water pump is labeled radiant which sends warm water to the heated floor in the master bathroom all right now there are two mixing valves down here this mixing valve if you turn the handle this direction it makes it hotter if you put a mirror behind it you can see it's got two arrows one for hotter and one for colder this mixing valve adjusts the heat to the master bedroom floor and this mixing valve which is jammed I'm going to call a plumber to fix it this mixing valve adjusts the hot water to the rest of the house which is presently set to about 140 degrees Fahrenheit right that's the hot water to the house Oh, it's getting cold. The pipe's getting cold. Somebody is using hot water in the house. You got cold water coming in here to the mixing valve, and you got hot water right behind the mixing valve coming out of the water tank. And this knob can adjust the hot water coming up and to the house. But this mixing valve is jammed from scale in the water, and I'm going to call a plumber to rebuild this valve. I saw it on the internet. It's just a pain in the neck to rebuild this valve. I'm sure plumbers could do it with their eyes closed. This mixing valve adjusts the heat going up to the rest of the house. And you got cold water coming down this pipe to the mixing valve. And you got hot water 
coming out of the water tank from behind it and adjusting this knob. I don't know if you can catch it. The knob has red over here and blue over here. If I turn the knob this way, water to the house is hotter. Turn it this way, water to the house is colder. But right now this mixing valve is jammed from scale and the boiler's about to turn on. I just heard the relay click. The boiler's gonna turn on. All right, so we see the manifold here sending hot water to various places in the house. And we have water coming through this little tiny water pump going to first floor heat, which is the heating unit in the back of the room. You've got boiler hot water. This is a very hot pipe coming into it. We've got hot water coming out of the boiler through this pipe to the heating unit in the back here, which has a radiator, just like a radiator in your car. This hot water goes through the radiator and there's a blower on the bottom that sends the hot air up to the first floor floor vents. Then the hot water goes through the radiator and it's warm and the water coming out of this heating unit comes back to the return manifold. Here is the return manifold, which is collecting warm water back from the rest of the house. All right, this is the return water from the boiler. Here is the return water from the first floor heating unit behind here. Here is the return water from the second floor heater up in the attic. And here is the return water from the radiant floor. All right, all collected in this pipe and going back into the boiler to be heated and then come out at the 190 degrees here. Over here we have the expansion surge tank. All right, and this is on the hot water to the house. And this prevents that banging noise. If you turn off the hot water quickly, you, without this tank, you hear a real bang noise every time you would turn off a hot water faucet. So they put this tank filled with air and a rubber bladder in it to prevent that banging noise when you turn off a, a hot faucet. So the combination of a boiler and a hot water tank is a brilliant idea and it gives you instant hot water all the time. It's pretty rare that you would ever run out of hot water. That's, that's what they brag about. This paired combination gives you hot water all the time. And one thing we missed, here's the thermostat on the hot water tank. All right, and since the mixing valve is jammed, I've actually turned off the cold water feed to it. So all the water going to the house is all hot water out of the hot water tank. And the mixing valve right now is basically disabled until uh, we call a plumber to fix this mixing valve. We just cannot turn it. It is jammed. And years ago, I put fiberglass insulation on all the hot water pipes to save energy. This wire right here is bypassing the thermostat on the radiant floor upstairs, and I put it on an on-off switch, because we never figured out how to use the thermostat in the master bathroom. So I, I jumped past the thermostat, and this can turn the radiant pump on and off manually. All right, this is a little water pump that's pumping water to the floor in the master bathroom. And I went online and got the schematics for the hot water tank and the boiler. This one is really interesting. The boiler is putting hot water. Here's the output of the boiler in red. There's a little shutoff valve. So the hot water is coming in the top and you can see it gets a little lighter as it goes down. So the whole cavity of the water tank is hot and then the cold water coming in the house comes down here goes in the bottom and it comes out the top as hot they put it a dashed red line and that would be hot water to house All right and here's here's the boiler All right, and this is supposedly baseboard heaters in the house we don't have baseboard heaters we have a forced air blower in the attic and a forced air blower right here behind the boiler
and just some basic information on the boiler. And here we have the gas line coming in the house. All right, here's the gas line and it comes around, goes through the top, comes out right there and goes behind. And here is the gas line into the boiler. All right, and this extra little pipe uh, collects any moisture that's in the gas and lets it evaporate slowly so water doesn't go into the gas burner. And here's the flue. The carbon dioxide exhaust gas comes out this pipe and goes out the side of the house. That's the flue pipe. All right, there's actually a, an inner pipe inside of it and cold air is blown around it. So this pipe generally never gets too hot because the hot pipe in the middle has cold air around it. And we have an overpressure valve right here. If the system goes over pressure, a little water will come out right here. And you can see that's happened a couple of times in the past. This is very hot, 190 degrees, so you really can't keep your fingers on it for any length of time. Now, let's see, you got a little bypass pipe here that can bypass the radiant pump just to initially fill the pipes in the floor. They'll open this valve and water will fill the floor in the upstairs bathroom. Then you close it and then you're back on the pump, right, which pumps water very slowly through the plastic hosing inside the master bathroom floor. All right, right up here, here's the output to the radiant floor. And it's just support poles holding up probably a couple hundred pounds of pipes. And in the corner, in this box, we have all kinds of spare parts for the boiler. There's a spare blower in there, spare relay, a spare overpressure sensor. So we have all kinds of spare parts for the boiler. Electrical breaker panel, electric meter. That's the utility room at the Matza House, Christmas 2024. Thank you.